David Hahn has been called many names over the years, but he's perhaps best known as the Nuclear Boy Scout. His story starts in 1994 when he was just 17 years old. He was born on the 30th of October 1976 and had a passion for chemistry. He read a book called The Golden Book of Chemistry Experiments, and ever since then he was obsessed with what he could achieve through experiments with different materials. After this, he was talking to his friends and announced that he wanted to start collecting every element in the periodic table. This included radioactive elements. David then went about setting up his own room so he could do these experiments. This ended up being in his bedroom in his father's house. During this time, he was only 14 and although he was learning very quickly, his parents were worried. This is due to the fact that every so often they would discover strange markings around the house and chemical spills. His parents soon stepped in when one of his experiments wrecked his bedroom. After this, his father told him that no more experiments would be happening in the house. However, he soon took his passion into the basement where he carried out even more tests. The next one though would be different as it went wrong, and it caused him to knock himself unconscious. His father told him that he wasn't to carry out any more tests, but he didn't listen and set up a laboratory in his mother's house. During this time, David participated in Eagle Scouts and was aimed to earn a merit badge in atomic energy. Not far off from his 15th birthday, he was awarded the Atomic Energy Merit Badge. This then gave him the confidence to create a breeder reactor. For those not aware, a breeder reactor is a nuclear reactor that generates more fissile material than it consumes. He knew that he needed to gain more knowledge, so he contacted the American Nuclear Society and the Atomic Industrial Forum. However, he didn't write as himself, rather he pretended to be someone called Professor Hahn, a physics instructor. His end goal was to transform thorium and uranium into fissionable isotopes. His next goal was to get hold of radioisotopes. He managed to get hold of a Czechoslovakian firm that sells uranium to commercial and university buyers. As before, he claimed to be a professor and was able to get hold of a few samples of a black ore. After this, he went around the house to try and find small amounts of radioactive materials. David made a breakthrough when he was able to find a large quantity of radium from an old table clock he got from an antique shop. Inside was radium paint, and after extracting it, he was ready to start his experiment. After a few tests, he did in fact manage to create his breeder reactor inside the shed, but things soon started to take a turn for the worst. Not long after the experiment, he discovered there were high levels of radioactivity. He then started to worry, thinking he was putting himself and others in danger. After some further failed experiments to counter the radioactivity, he soon realized the Geiger counter was picking up radiation from five houses down from where the experiments were taking place. He knew that it had to be dismantled, but as he was doing this, police arrived at the site while responding to a complaint call from a neighbor. They quickly searched David's car and discovered the chemicals along with the reactor. The officers took him in for questioning and eventually took away his equipment. This caused him to have a downward spiral, and after further failed attempts at building another reactor, he passed away at the age of 39. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.